My whole life I've had a cat or a dog or maybe both at the same time. The cameraman loves fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Today I'm going to do beautiful goldfish on the nails. Take a look. Detailed looking, right? So easy. Let me show you how. Let's get started. So I've got these beautiful long almond nails and I've got to just put some base down there. And I've got the white. Now the reason why I put white down before I do a color is because it makes it pop. If your nails are nude or a skin tone color, which we generally start off with, it can be very um, plain when you're putting a color on it, you want it to bounce. So white is a really good base to start with. So I have a couple of coats of white on there. Now I am going to mix the brands, meaning I'm not gonna mix them in a pot together, but I couldn't find all the colors that I'm looking for all in the one brand. So I'm gonna use a couple of different ones. And when I do that, the best performance is I find is to remove the dispersion layer, maybe even file it a little bit before you put the new brand on. They often, if they don't go together, it'll be because of the dispersion layer. Okay. So I've got two coats of the white and I'm just gonna put down. I've got two colors of Kira Sky. I love the names, high maintenance and sky's the limit. So I'm gonna sort of ombre them on vertically. And I'm just going to paint in this little dish here. And you just need sort of a wider brush. Oops, that's the other end. In this case, I'm using wildflowers. And I like it because it's wide enough that I can ombre the two, like blend the two on the brush. You don't have to get too picky with this. You can use the brushes from the actual polish and use it to blend. Just make sure you clean it before you stick it back in the bottle because it might have a mixture of the color and you don't want to put it back in your bottle. So I'm going to do one side, I'm going to put the green on. As you can see, I do want it to be quite soft, almost pastel. And then I'm going to put the blue on the other side. And then I'm going to sort of wipe off a little bit. And then I'm going to just get, see one side of my brush, and then the blue on the other side of the brush. And I'm sort of going to feather it back and forth. So green on one side, blue on the other. And then I'm going to gently just sort of fade the two in between. I can hear Critter licking himself. <laughs> <laughs> Critter is directing the video today. But before he does that, he always gives himself a very thorough bath. Oh yeah, he looks chilled out now. Of course he is, he's a cat. Mm -hmm. We could get him to do some kind of chore, like the vacuuming or something, it would just help out a lot, wouldn't it? It would. But he's not very receptive to that. Okay, that pretty much does it. I actually did that one pretty good, pretty quick. So that is Kira Sky Polish. I'm gonna cure it in this Kira Sky lamp. Cure it in the Kira Sky lamp. <laughs> it's easier in this case to just say nuke it. Okay, that's pretty. That went down pretty good. When I did some of the other ones, I actually got really picky and I was actually blending too much. So I'm gonna clean that brush because I don't want that to get all cured in that. Now, if you're working with any gel whatsoever, don't leave it in the sun or where any UV rays can get at it because it will cure it. Okay, now we can get to the goldfish. So we're gonna get our little dish for that. And I'm using the orange and white. And this is Madame Glam and a little tiny bit of black for the little eye of the goldfish. Okay, so I am gonna just put a little streak of it because we're gonna gather it. It's a marbled kind of look and you can do, actually when I sat down to do this, I was gonna do a completely different design. And then I thought, oh, it'd be so cute. It's the same technique if we just kind of did a goldfish with it. So I'm just going to do a thin line of gel across there. And I'm going to do the white across there. 
and I'll do another orange because we're going to marble them a bit. And remember I said I'm using a different brand, so I am going to remove the dispersion layer. And I'm going to get a really soft file and I'm just, this is my um, smooth and shine from my kit. And I'm just going to gently buff because gel likes to stick to a dispersion layer, like a sticky layer or a buffed layer. So if you want these two to adhere and last some time, then you do want to give a light buffing. You can still apply one color on top of the other. Sometimes they won't dry, they might separate a little, but you can still apply it. It just might mean you might not get any long wear. So they might peel or kind of conflict with each other, but buffing it will help a little bit better with the adhesion. Okay. So I can just clean off that dusty layer. And then I'm gonna get a little marbling tool. See how tiny that is? And I'm just, you could do it with a toothpick or anything really, really tiny. And I'm just going to bring the orange through the white. Just pull it through, not too much. Because when we grab it, we're also going to do the same kind of thing. Okay, you can see how a little bit that I did that. That kind of looks like a fancy dessert plate. <laughs> Food. We always get back to food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of mango sauce on there, I think. Okay. Someone's hungry. Mm -hmm, I am. So I am using a very different brush. It's called a French brush. And this is by Ugly Duckling. And you see how it's got that curvature? Oh, yeah. Got a bit of a... Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to have that. You just want a straight brush and something kind of thin. You can even use an ombre brush will work too. But I just had this one and I thought I would grab this one. I like it. So when I grab it, this is how I'm going to grab it. I'm going to push it right through lengthwise like that. Now it's gel, so it doesn't, no rush. It's not going to dry on you. And you might have to do this a few times to get sort of the flow of what you're looking for as far as the design goes. I'll do the goldfish now, and then I'll show you some other designs you can do. So let me see. I did a little goldfish on me thumb. And of course, not two goldfishes will turn out the same because of the marbling that you've done. And I kind of got his little face in there and then I'm going to twist a little and then I'm going to feather out that tail. And then I'm going to bring down a little bit of the finage there and then I'll maybe I'll see if I can pull, work with it a little and bring it out there. He's sort of a little fat one. Maybe I'll even bring his nose out a little. Oh, he's very finicky, isn't he? Now, this is probably um, a little combination of a few fish. We know fish well. We used to have, in this room actually, a 750-gallon saltwater tropical warm, it's very warm, aquarium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was gorgeous. It was so beautiful. We built it into the wall. So like picture a whole wall. Usually when you have an aquarium, you have cords and stuff, but this aquarium was built into the wall. So if you had to access it, you had to go in the back behind and another door to get into it, to clean it and feed the fish, right? It was caramans. Oh, it, yeah. I wouldn't have had it. It's a lot of work. A lot of work building it. Not, not as much maintaining. Not it. maintaining it as much, but Man, it was beautiful. Hopefully we can find a picture. I don't know if we can, but. Some of the archives, I probably have something. We should. Yeah, it's I'll, I'll take a look. Now, this is the point where you have to decide if you like your goldfish or not. And I'm kind of undecided. He's cute. Yep. The tail's cute. So I'm gonna gather another bunch. And maybe I'll do, maybe I'll move this and see if I can do a goldfish where it's swimming with its head down and tail going up this way. Like I say, if you don't like it, you can just erase it and do it again. You don't have to do goldfish. This neat marbling technique, you're sort of marbling on your dish first. You can do it on your nail, but it can tend to be a bit thick. But you can lay this in 
you wanted to just lay in a different design and sort of just right it doesn't have to be a fish I just when I was doing it I just noticed ooh, that'd be kind of cute I mean you can change it right you could do all sorts of different you could change the colors you could it could be a very very different design but I'm gonna take that off because my whole theme here is fish a school of fish yeah okay so once you get the fish that you like I do suggest you want to give it a bit of a nuke because if you don't you might gunk it and you don't want to do that and we're gonna paint some little white lines on top just gonna to give that a bit of a nuke now I'm out of if I'm going to do any more, I've got two fingers left, right? It's two or three, one. Because I've already done my thumb. I'm just going to clean that up. And you just clean gel with alcohol quite easily. Okay, so I have two fingers left. And the reason why you don't want to put too much in your dish, because you don't want to get a big glump. If you get too much of a glump on your finger, the gel won't cure. Gel doesn't like to be thick on the nail, so you do want to keep it on the thinner side. Maybe I'll do one more line. And don't forget your little dotting tool. We're going to do the ring finger. Now, I never checked actually to see what a goldfish really looks like. This is just from my memory, so I'm sure it's not very accurate, but as long as you can get close enough, people will just understand that it's some sort of goldfish, or at least you think it is. <laughs> Pinky's a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit harder. I shouldn't have done the goldfish that same way. I did it the same way. So because I don't like the ring finger, I think I might actually do it again. What I mean is that these two are just leaning the same way, and I kind of wanted a bit of a different varying. So I'm just removing that with some alcohol. And I do have enough in my dish to try it again. That's one of the nice things about gel versus polish, right? Totally. You could do this with polish. You just couldn't take the time like you're doing. Like we're taking a fair bit of time. Having said that, I'm just going to nuke that pinky because um, I don't want to bump it. Smudge it. Yeah, I don't want to smudge it. This aquarium was so big that one day I could not find cameraman anywhere. Do you remember that? I could not find him anywhere. And it turned out he was inside the aquarium yeah. to clean it. You had to get in it to clean it. It was eight feet long, four feet tall, and four feet deep. So you literally, it was so big, you had to get in it to clean it. Okay, so I'm going to gather up another. And I'm going to try to lean this fish bit of a different direct. Maybe I'll start his little head over here. And oh, I might be losing control of this bead. No, I did the same thing. You did the wrong yeah, way again. I seem to be upside down here. So I'm just going to clean this up. That's another thing about gel. It's just so easy to clean up. And again, there's no rush because it's not drying on you at the same time. It only dries when you put it under the light. Okay, so I'm just going to get another bunch of gel going here. It's funny, okay. Critter wants to be here, down here with us, but he doesn't even look at what we're doing. No. <laughs> He's not even looking at us. No. He doesn't care. Let me call his name. Critter. He opened his eyes. Critter. Critter. Critter, critter, critter. His ears twitch. His ear moves. That's critter. it. He don't care. Usually his tail will move. He is a beautiful cat, but I don't know. He's very, very skeptical. He's always on edge. He he acts like a feral cat. He has little moments of niceness, but oh yeah, he's nice every morning. He likes a little pet, but not too much. You could like four times maybe. By the fifth time, he's going to hurt you. Okay, so I'm going to move this, and I'm going to do it 
where the snout of the fish is down this way and I'll work up this way. How's that? Okay, so I'm gonna scoop in. There's a snout down that end. make shaping it a little bit better okay cute okay so now I'm just gonna clean my gel off me brush and I'm just gonna need a little white and a little black just for the tiny little details just so we can identify that it's actually a fish <laughs> this aquarium was so big I know I keep coming back to it because it was I wish we kind of had it in some ways why did we get rid of it oh we had it for like 10 years no 13 had, years 13, 13 years. years I built the aquarium my you, dad and yeah, I built it you built and, it and uh had a little years. tiny leak so we were going on a trip to Hawaii and it was a lot of responsibility to leave it to somebody else especially if it had leaks so we actually made a decision and got rid of it didn't you took it down yeah it was a tough decision but it was that we're on, I didn't want to leave somebody else dealing with a giant mm -hmm. flood from a 750 gallon aquarium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be a lot. Not that you didn't have a lot of mini floods. I remember well, waking up in the middle of the night, where's yeah. Carmen? And then I would hear slosh, slosh, and a lot of swearing. <laughs> and then you find out that he's knee deep in water. Uh, knee deep. I never, I most good, ever lost is five gallons. Good couple of inches. Well, you're knee deep when you're inside of it. It was so beautiful. Actually, when the kids would go to school, they would mention it to their teacher. And we actually had little kids come, like field trips, to see it. Remember that? Mm -hmm. It was so cute. Yeah, it was I like a little uh, it was aquarium fun. tour. <laughs> yeah, a little aquarium tour. They liked it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you put a little a dot on it for the eye, that sort of tells you that it's more of a fish. Right now, it just looks like a blob of marble and orange gel. So let's get the little eyeballs on there. So where you put the eye, just sort of gives you the impression of which side of the fish is up. <laughs> now this one's bigger, so I'm gonna make a bigger eyeball right there. And a little tiny one there, a little bigger. That was tiny. Okay, and where the white comes in, I'm gonna get my striper. This is a striper brush, and this is from Ugly Duckling. And I like it because it'll create some nice long shaping for the finage. So I'm gonna saturate that brush with some white gel. So remember, we've, we've cured it. So you can paint on top of this. So right now I'm just sort of defining the fish. So I'm just going to sort of put some white lines to exaggerate the finage. What was your favorite fish when we had our fish tank? Mm, that's a tough one. Mm, I we love like them so all. many. Yeah. Um, I've always had a soft spot for um, yellow tangs. Yeah, I like the Pacific blues. The, yeah, yeah, mm. the uh, Finding Nemo fish. Dory, I think. Oh, the clownfish. No, no. Oh, the, the Finding Nemo the, was the Pacific blue. Yeah. Yeah. What was the clownfish? Some call them hippo, hippo tangs. Is another phrase. Really, I'd never heard yeah. of it. I, I really liked my. Um, I had that big puffer fish. Oh yeah. He was um, about a foot long. He would shoot water out me at when I was behind the crane. He'd squirt me in the face and we'd feed him. <laughs> he was cute. Cardi always loves, our daughter loves the story of, remember the lionfish that you had? Yes. I yeah. did not know those were poisonous. Really? No, oh, I did yeah. not know that. So one time you had it in a shallow tank. I think you were changing water or something. Yeah. And I was literally playing with it, like a puppy, like flicking my nails in the water and he would come up to it and kind of go like that. <laughs> They're beautiful. They're the ones with a ton of finage with like sticks, like pointy sticks on them. They're beautiful. But I didn't know that they were poisonous, actually. 
Well, like I say, good thing we were getting along with so nothing happened bad. That's cute. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a little nuke in between so that the um, white doesn't run. You can just give it a little bit of flash gear sometimes to set the polish, the gel polish. And I'm just going to keep painting some white lines. It's nice to have something happy on our nails right now. So I'm just going to, I still think my thumb might have been the best one that I did. Yeah, he's good. I think sometimes when you do design, sometimes you can overthink it. He has longer snout. Actually, I'm just going to top coat it now and then we will look at the reveal shots. <laughs> Anything you get out of that, it's the technique you can use with the marbling that's inside the dish. You could make flowers with it. Irises come to mind because they're kind of veiny and long like that. Leaves. You could just do abstract. You could do lots of different designs. I just thought I'd, you know, do a happy little design with our fish. Well, thanks for joining me, you guys. And I just want to mention, if you're subscribing to my channel, don't forget to click that little bell because a lot of people have told me that they don't actually get a notice. They didn't know I had a video up if you don't click that little bell. Catch you guys in the next one.